Donald Trump has promised to help keep coal jobs here in America. One possible idea to help do this is clean coal. Clean coal is coal in which some of the emissions from the coal are sequestered when the coal is burnt, not allowing them to go into the atmosphere. This video takes a look at a few of the pros and cons of clean coal. Clean coal makes for an easier transition, especially for workers. If we focus entirely on new technologies like wind and solar, it will mean we have to invest an enormous amount of resources into retraining into an entirely new field that's very different than the current jobs available in coal. However, shifting to clean coal, many of the positions would remain similar or the same. This makes the transition much easier for workers and less disruptive. Clean coal is much better than current coal. Some coal is going to continue to be burnt for a while, no matter what we do, and burning clean coal is much better in terms of its carbon emissions and other pollutants it puts out into the atmosphere. Moving to clean coal can help reduce the environmental impact of coal. <coughs> clean coal is not really clean. No current clean coal project captures all of the carbon dioxide that coal emits. Most just reduce the level of carbon emissions down to that of natural gas, which is a substantial improvement over regular coal burning, but it is not nearly sufficient enough to stop global warming. Clean coal is still in its very early stage. Wind and solar and many other alternative forms of energy are actually much more advanced than clean coal technology, which has not been deployed on a large scale. This means that right now it is much more cost effective to invest in these technologies than it is to invest in clean coal if your goal is to reduce CO2 emissions. Coal is a finite resource, meaning that even if we develop advanced clean coal technologies, we will eventually run out of coal. Wind and solar, on the other hand, are renewable, meaning we do not have to worry about them running out. In the long run, we will inevitably have to invest in renewable energies like wind and solar, so it likely makes more sense to skip over clean coal and go right to investing in renewable energy. Let us know what you think about the pros and cons of clean coal in the comments below, and like and subscribe to learn more.